Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm Hope aka Little Ginge and it has been a little while, hasn't it? I am so very sorry it's been so long. It's been, what, like four months since my last video? We've had a new pack come out. It's been insane. Um, the European pack looks very good. I haven't really played around with it too much because I've had major Planet Zoo block, which is one of the many reasons why I haven't been posting videos or haven't been making videos. But besides that, I'm back now and we're here and we're making a new video. And today you can see we're in a new, we're in a new zoo. We're not in Lilypad Manor. We're in, um, currently it's called Paradise Creek. It's a working name, but I quite like it. It's, um, very much inspired by Delay Designer's, uh, Safari Boat Ride zoo that she made where it was just all based around the, the safari boat ride and it was enclosures that went over the safari boat ride and i wanted something similar but i also wanted a zoo that you could walk around as well and so that's what we're doing and the first habitat within this zoo is going to be the flamingos uh, i've never built for the flamingos before so i was quite excited to do it and have a lot of water everywhere and have places they can stay um you can tell i'm a bit rusty because i've made this habitat massive compared to how I probably could have. I probably could have made it a little a little bit smaller and the water a little bit shallower, but I think it proves the point and it looks nice. I wanted it to be sort of a, um, like, I can't think of the word, like rehome center, like somewhere out in a tropical forest where people, they get all these animals and they look after them and make sure they have the best home, but they are also somewhere where people can go and see them. And so a lot of the time I want there to be sort of very natural barriers and so uh, you'll see soon for the safari boat ride it there isn't a fence there but there is like rocks in the way so it's in theory the flamingos couldn't get out and attack the people on said boat ride but that's my thinking behind it yeah uh, i've got i've got another video planned showing like the the building of the beginning part of the park but i wanted to put out this video of the first habitat first to sort of be like hi i exist again <laughs> because i haven't been here for like four months which is very very sad i'm very sorry about that um i've just struggled quite a lot with thinking about what i could do and if my building was even good enough or anything like that but i've sort of got over that a bit and just thought well my building will only get better if I start to do more and explore more of these ideas um I'm not quite sure what I want to do with Lilypad Manor I have made a another enclosure but um it was like a four minute long video so I might quickly upload it after this and be like oh look I did do this um but we shall see. It was for an African penguin. A small little habitat. It was very nice. Uh, but I'm really liking this idea of this tropical uh, zoo. I really like how... I really want it to be really lush and green. And have loads of foliage everywhere. And it look really natural. Instead of it being the more... Um, almost city or town zoo that Lilypad Manor was. Uh, I want it to be sort of like a... Like, yeah, centre for care. I guess. I can't think of the word. There's a certain word for them, but I can't think of it. Um, so these aquatic rocks are used massively throughout this whole build. It is quite insane, insane really. God, my words aren't coming out. I'm not used to doing voiceovers. Um, but I really enjoy it. I'm making sure to try and keep within the same few um, plants so it looks cohesive. Um, and that seems to work quite well. I really like these, these tree ferns at the moment that you, can, you sort of see and I can put down everywhere. And the tropical rocks and the mossy rocks to try and get that whole feeling of lush green lushness of you can sort of get from tropical feeling places. I want that in the uh, in the park. Um, I suddenly realised I hadn't, it didn't have any like actual people working in my park. I just started building it. And so to get flamingos in there, I needed keepers. So I had to suddenly just buy a load and was like, oh yeah, this is meant to be a zoo. This took me a surprisingly long time. It's like a reasonably um, simple enclosure, but it took me like two hours to build. And then the original sort of the outside of this enclosure it took me like a good three hours but i don't think it's that 
like intricate it just took a lot of thought so i'm gonna try and be regular with these uploads i'm not gonna promise anything but um i saw that i've got a few more subscribers now and so thank you so much for that for subscribing when i'm not even posting regularly i really appreciate that and um yeah i'll probably just let you watch the rest of the speed build now i can't think of any anything more i want to add i just want it to be lush uh if you like the video please feel free to give it a like uh it'll let me know that you like seeing or hearing my voice over on the internet with my lovely little builds here if you have any suggestions of what we can put in this like tropical uh zoo it's not specific to anything and um it doesn't have to be water based obviously cause it's meant to be based around the river um definitely let me know in the comments and let me know in the comments if you liked the video uh thank you so much for watching if you want to catch me playing some other games that's also a reason i haven't been posting as many videos is because i stream on twitch quite regularly as well uh, under the username little ginge with two underscores as well um pokemon arceus came out and that has been a major obsession of mine i love it it's so good it's a very good game but that's not the point we're in a planet zoo video so yes please enjoy the rest of the video uh, i appreciate you all so much for watching and hanging out with me and interacting with my content and so i hope you enjoy the rest of the video thank you see you very soon bye bye bye